Hey guys, how y'all doing today? So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I turn all of this into this nice little shelf I built for my gaming system. So to start off, I need the parts. So I head to my local Lowe's store, but you can probably get yours from your Home Depot if that's what's available, or any uh, home and garden store that's available to you. Here are the list of stuff that I decided to get. But if you want to do a little variation on it, that's fine. So I chose to go with the solid oak wood and that was like 48 inches, which is about four foot. And then I had it cut down to 16 inches each. So that gave me three shelves. Now the depth of this wood is about 11 and a half inches, which is perfect for the size that I'm trying to build it anyway. Now for the pole that separates each shelf, I went with the hemlock wall rail. The length of that is eight foot and I had it cut down to six inches each. Now the cutting down of each one of these parts was done at my local low store. But if you have the equipment to cut them down yourself, that's the dimension that I use. Now these are not exact dimensions that you have to stick to. If you want to do a little variation, it's up to you. And then I took two of those poles and cut them in half to give me the feet that you see on the bottom. And to put this all together, I decided to go with Gorilla Wood Glue. And if you're gonna put it on a wooden floor, I would use these felt pads to protect the floor from getting scratched up. Okay, so that's all the parts you're gonna to need to build this little shelf. And like I say, if you don't have your own machine at home or a saw or anything like that, go ahead and get it done at the store so you don't have to worry about it. You just come home and start assembling. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is to put on the feet. So I would try to put it to the edge as possible. Use a pencil and try to go around the edges so you can mark the spot. So when you put the glue on the wood, then it will be in that circle and it won't go too far out. Now this glue dries pretty clear, so you don't have to worry about it making a mess, but try to get a good amount on it so it will stick real good. And like I said, make sure it's right because when this glue dries, it dries real good. So once you get it lined up, you just, you know, try to get it in place. You still have time to move it after you put it in place. So you can slide it a little bit here and there to make some adjustment. But once it's settled in and it's dried, and it takes about 30 minutes, so you can set a timer and just come back and check on it. But give it about 30 minutes before you actually flip it over so you can do the rest of the assembly. Okay, so after 30 minutes go by, you want to check each leg to make sure they're nice and sturdy and not moving. So put a little force on it. If they move, then you might have to redo the application. If not, then it's pretty good to go. So after you check it to make sure nothing is moving, then you flip it over and it's time to put on the rest of the pieces. So now you're gonna grab four of your six inches pieces and put them on each corner. And you wanna follow the same procedures that you did for the legs. You wanna move them to the corner, use a pencil to make that outline, and then put the glue down and then stick them together, let it dry for 30 minutes and follow the same procedure for each level. Then you wanna put some weight on it to make it get a nice little bond and push out any air that's between the wood and the glue. So like I said, set a timer on your Amazon Echo, your watch or whatever, and then come back and check it 30 minutes later. Then you wanna do the same procedure for the next level up. And with each level you go up, like I said, put some weight on it to make sure it gets a nice bond seal to it. Once you reach the top level, you know that's the last level to put on, same procedure, and then you're done. After 30 minutes, hold that top shelf, hold it up in the air, and see if anything actually moves. Nothing should move if you follow those 30 minute wait times. So now if you're putting it on a wooden floor, go ahead and put those phelps on. If it's on a carpet, I wouldn't too worry about the phelps. Then put some weight on it again. This time you're gonna put the weight on the top shelf. Now you can use a toolbox or whatever has good little weight on it. And then you're gonna let it sit for 24 hours. That way it's getting that nice fully bond seal. Sure enough, nothing's gonna move from this point on. So you probably need a sledgehammer or a saw or something to take it apart. And now that it's complete, you can do whatever you wanna do with it. You can paint it, you can stain it, you can leave it like that, but now your game system rack is ready to go. Or you can use this shelf for other things too. I personally built it for the two game system that I have. Now, I went this route because I was looking for something special that I couldn't find in the stores. Most of the shelves that I see were too tall, too wide, too this, too whatever. And after going to all those steps and couldn't find what I want, I just decided, you know what, I'm just gonna build my own shelf. So the bottom shelf is used for my 
controls but I can put anything else down there like some games or whatever so now as you can see it fits right into my decor all I have to do is paint it and it can blend in with the rest of the stuff that's around there or I can just leave it like that so it stands out your friends come over your house they want to know where you get that shelf from and it will wow them if you told them that you built it yourself okay so that's gonna be it for this video all the dimensions for the wood that I have is gonna be in the description now the type of wood that to use like I say is your variation you can use the exact same wood that I use or you can just go a little bit cheaper. But the thickness of the wood is very important. Don't go too thin. You want to get a little thickness in the wood because those game system has some weight to them and you don't want that shelf to be start bowing in the bottom. So make sure you choose some thick wood for that support. But this thing is solid as a rock and it has some weight to it. I haven't actually put it on the scale to see how much it weighs. but it is solid all right so that's gonna be it for this video I know it wasn't a techy kind of video but I'm gonna call it a low-tech video how about that oh I got one more upcoming video coming soon where I'm gonna show you another thing that I built out of wood and it's pretty amazing what I came up with at this one so stay tuned to the channel if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss that upcoming video especially if you like little projects like these so I want to thank you for taking the time for watching it I look forward to see you next time have a good one.